Hi everybody, I hope you're all well. Um, well, following on from the um, festive bake, which was, uh, honestly, your, your comments and, and responses were absolutely brilliant and fantastic suggestions and really, well, it's kind of led to this vlog. Uh, Ricky, um, you your comment will come up here, but you said um, you you absolutely loved it, but you were, you'd were you gone to Costa and had seen their pigs in blankets um toasty that they're doing their festive menu um but you're going to try this version as a festive bake and i thought ooh, i think i'll join you <laughs> because actually funny enough i always i've never made my own pigs in blankets i've always bought them and they used to be reasonably priced but i can bet you this year i don't reckon they're going to be reasonably reasonably priced I mean, I think even the sort of budget versions are going to be quite expensive for what you get. Um, so I am going to, and I, this is where I, ha I have been out shopping. I got to this, I mean, it's, it's all been, you know, di dished up in nice bowls, but I've got these and I'm going to be doing pigs in blankets using these chipolatas. Um, some of which I am actually going to freeze for the day, but I'm going to take some away and put in a in well quite frankly I've still got one puff pastry left left over from when I did the festive bake and I thought Rick great excuse thanks for that comment <laughs> because I am going to do what you're going to do and try a, a pigs in blanket festive bake why not it I, I mean quite frankly it's making my mouth water just thinking about it um so let's get crack on and get doing that but before I do that oh I just wanted to say <laughs> massive thank you to Ali who won the Kasori um you look at you look at your envelope honestly I've obviously put out the personal details isn't that cute how sweet <laughs> such effort and she even this there's more <laughs> hold on miss my glasses a lovely card thank you so much Ali because you that's really lovely nice seaside scene <laughs> and uh, I think that's a lighthouse actually um you said Kerry here's a little thank you for the thank you the Kasori is fab here's to happy air frying Ali thank you Ali that's really lovely and you've even put a little something in there for me that's really sweet and you make these yourself which I I really love them and they'll be go really well in my shed or even on the outside because they're made from well look <laughs> <laughs> they're so cute aren't they yeah i did ask you if you sold these i can't i can't remember whether you used to do or don't but if you do if you do i'll put a link in the description <laughs> thank you very very much i really love them <laughs> thank you i love them a lot that's so lovely so thank you very much for that ali that's really nice and i'm so glad that you're enjoying your your air fryer i really am oh right so let's crack on with making these pigs in blankets with bells on that's what i'm going to call it um obviously i'm reserving pigs in blankets for my own our own christmas dinner and also i did think that when i make um however many i can manage to get out of this i'm going to freeze one and then reheat it and see how it comes out the next day reheated because uh, it would be quite good to have these made to have as a sort of handy snack in the freezer on for boxing day or christmas eve or whenever it is that you sort of think mm, let's just bung that in because i tell you what air fryers reheat food so well i i, I love it I, they absolutely make it as if it was brand new fresh I, I, it's fantastic so let's crack on and start making it well in fact come and have a look at the ingredients it's pretty self-explanatory but yeah come and have a look so I've got my chipolata sausages and streaky bacon of which I'll wrap and I actually because it's 20 I only had 14 uh, streaky bacon slices so with the the remaining six I'm just going to wrap normal bacon in and just freeze that for the day I'm sure that would be absolutely fine but for the for this vlog we're going to be doing making our pigs in blankets and then with a few of them making some bells on pigs in blankets with the pastry and see how it turns out um you know i haven't got stuffing today because we we ate it all <laughs> but you know stuffing as well as this would actually be fantastic or like some people said red on red onion chutney i mean honestly the world is your oyster and in fact this isn't brie this is camembert which actually has a lot more flavor than brie 
um, and it's it's I love camembert. So yeah, let's crack on. Let's get this get these um, pigs in blankets sort of wrapped. Uh, yeah, see you in the next clip. Okay, let's get these wrapped. I mean, it really is pretty easy. I don't know why I don't. Oops, you could need to be able to see. I don't know why I haven't done this before. To be fair. I suppose it's laziness to be not laziness but you know convenience um yeah let's just get these wraps they won't all um like i said i'm going to be using some for the pigs in blankets festive bake In our house we really love um pigs in blankets at christmas i mean it's it's kind of funny that you only really eat certain foods at christmas isn't it perhaps this is just because it's a bit ostentatious and all that kind of stuff it's great great fun though i don't know if this is going to be big enough this container for all the frozen ones but let's see because at the end of the day um, i'm going to be using some <laughs> Right. right, I'm just going to wash my hands um, and we'll be back for the next stage. Okay, um, I've kind of roughly worked out the length, etc. that I need, so I'm just going to go for it. Wonky, but never mind. Right, cranberry first. Must have been, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> I think I can make six which is pretty good. One's for the freezer to test. Free with camembert, free without. Means I've got eight left, although I've got actually six. I'll just show you. I'm just going to wrap these in normal bacon that I have in the fridge and add to the, these, and that's. And then I'm going to freeze this and literally forget about it. That's our Christmas dinner um, pigs in blankets sorted. And I will cost break down these as well um, for the ones that not the additional ones because they're just sort of a, a sort of bonus, but for the individual pigs in blankets and how much they cost for how many did i have here obviously these are sort of a bonus and i'll try i'll try and also cost break down this all at the end of the vlog ingredients etc always pinned in the comments and in the description as well as floating up at the beginning of the um the the vlog right let's crack on uh, i'm hoping this works because it feels like i'm packing in quite a lot oh brush with milk i'm forgetting getting ahead of myself
Okay, <laughs> I did a bit of a repair job. I, I kind of, um, it was a bit tight, but I, I nicked a bit off another one and it's a patch job, so that's perfect. Um, these are the ones with Brie and these are the ones without. So I want to make sure I remember which ones are which um, because the boys are having the ones without. And we're gonna taste test one of these. And um, freeze one, freeze one. So yeah, uh, possibly cook these in the Kasuri and these in the Ninja. Yeah, so we'll be, let's, let's. well, in fact, what am I doing? I've got to do this bit. I mean, these are like more like sausage rolls um, shape rather than the festive bake that I did the other day. Uh, but, uh, but that's because they're sausages. <laughs> so it, it kind of works. Um, and obviously I'm going to egg wash them once they're in the baskets. Oops. Yeah. Lovely. Right. Let's get, um, let's get these in the baskets and then I'll egg wash and we're going to start cooking. Can't wait. See you in a bit. Okay, egg, all egg washed. Um, these are the ones without brie. Um, bake, but at 200. I'm winging it, but 200 or 390 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. This may be extended and certainly flipped, but there's no um, pastry. I mean, it's a tight, it is snug, but there's no pastry parchment paper underneath um because i'm hoping it shouldn't stick because parchment paper was a faff lot with the festive bakes right so that's that kasori uh bake i don't yeah i'll just bake 200 for 15 minutes and i, I may have to flip i've no idea until we see the end so i'll see you in a bit okay let's have a look Ooh, oh, lovely. We're definitely going to need to turn these. So look, it's bubbling there. It's interesting. <laughs> I wonder if these will stick as far, oh dear. Maybe not, maybe not. Yeah, definitely to flick. So I'm going to flick these um, and I'll be back. Okay, let's have a look at the Kasori. Ooh, they look great. And I, I didn't open them at all for the 15 minutes. Uh, let's see if I can turn. In fact, that would probably be better. So that's good. Um, that is really good because the you'll be when you see the ninja ones. Uh, oh no! Let's have a look. Come on. Oh, ah, you see, the, will these need any further cooking? I don't know. Oh, actually, I want a temperature check before we do anything else. Oops. Wow. I want to see what the highest temperature, so. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, I'll clean my probe in a minute because I do need to test the Kasori ones, um, the Ninja ones. I would argue that these don't need doing flipping. That's really good. Without paper, that seems to work. It didn't work with the ninja ones. Come and have a look. Absolute slight disaster. <laughs> uh, that was all right, but uh, this is worse not putting parchment paper in. Um, Penny Kingsley, I think you said if you put the paper in, uh, sprinkle it with flour. I should have tried that. And next time I will, um, so I, I would suggest definitely line the crisper plate and sprinkle with flour to stop it, stop it sticking because this stuck. <laughs> they will get eaten, so that's not a problem. And uh, they do need flipping. So we're going to actually cook these. Oops, cook these. Uh... Oh, in fact, test. let me temperature test. Well, uh, that'll do. I mean, they're cooked, but let's get them 10 minutes, I think. I will check at five, actually. So I'll see you in a bit. Whoops, got a bit distracted. Let's have a look. Yeah, 
could keep on going a little actually for the full 10 minutes i think i mean <laughs> it's a disaster i think i might go straight into the taste test these are for the boys although yeah they won't like the ones with brie that's what so these are all either for them they'll be fine i'll leave it for the remainder of the minutes and we're going to go and have a look at the kasori ones whoa <laughs> absolutely i mean nin ninja ones although a disaster which was completely my fault i should have lined it and i will sprinkle i will try that next time and sprinkle it with a little flour to ho hopefully stop the pastry sticking <sighs> anyway um ninja ones flipped for 10 minutes on 160 whatever the preset is of, of the air fryer they're the, they're the ones for the boys because they don't like camembert i might have said brie on the early one this is a camembert one i mean this is pigs in blankets with um bells on L really nice underneath for the kasori one really pleased with the jewel blaze i'm going to cut it open so let's just move that to the side Ooh. I'm just moving you and see let's cut let's cut this baby open see what's going on inside oh I see a bit of the mmm that looks really nice I'm, I'm really looking forward to this right I've got to move you back again okay <laughs> Uh, yeah, mm. you can smell the um, uh, the sausage and the cranberry and the and the camembert, uh, and I think this is, might be a bit hot because it's really steaming. Mm. Oh my god! Oh. That is really lovely. Oh, I'm just getting a lovely sweetness of the cranberry, but just because I just smoked um, bacon uh, and that lovely smoky taste with the sausage. Oh, the creamy camembert. <laughs> really lovely. It's very different to the um, the last festive bake I made. I mean, this is pigs in blankets. Wow, and the pastry is really. I think 200 was a better um, temperature actually. Mmm, oh, hot. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Really lovely. I'm still getting flavours of the smoked bacon. It's making my mouth water just <laughs> just thinking about it. That's really. It's not easy to eat. <laughs> I'll say that now. Um, a little bit tricky. It's boiling hot as well. I'm definitely going to freeze one, and that'll be at the end of the vlog just to see how it comes out. Um, reheated the next day. I'm pretty sure. I will temperature check it actually as well. That's kind of crucial, and the times given for reheating it, etc., will be along with the the actual recipe in the comments and in the description. So yeah, oh, delish. Oh, well, I'll have to have another go. I can't. I can't sit here. Hmm. That's really delicious. Right, well, I, I'm going to give the boys theirs. It would have cooled down enough. Oh, dear, I feel like I'm covered in pastry. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that's so good. Give the boys theirs an afternoon snack. Um, sort of perks of the the vlogging mum. <laughs> and, uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Oh, oh that's so nice. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.